Hello, my dear. Rhonda Constant, your favorite hometown medium, physical energy healer, oracle card advisor, paranormal investigator, voice for your loved ones. How are you today? So, um, I don't remember that I've done a reading for you before, so I like to explain real quick kind of how this works. I see, hear, feel, sense, know. They talk to me, but they also show me pictures, and I call it spiritual charades. I try to describe the picture the best I can. They never waste a message. There is always a reason for whatever they show or say. So if it doesn't make any sense now, keep it in mind. Because you'll either remember it later, see it later, or somebody else will validate it for you later. And, and then you go, oh, they'll go, I know what she's talking about. So this is not an exact science. Sometimes you have to stretch it outside the box a little bit. We can communicate the best way we can. But... Uh, she won't give me all the details. Details are none of my business. She'll give me just enough so you know what she's referring to. That's the way we work. And it's her ballgame. Within reason. She can do anything and say anything she wants to within reason. They don't usually get out of line. So, we're going to talk to Mom. Well, I know her name's Annette, but she's saying as Nanette, like N-A-N-N-E-T-T-E, -E. Nanette. No, no, Nanette. No, was there a song? Oh, my God. Hmm, I'm going to really date myself. Before my day, I think, called No, No, no Nanette. That's a tongue twister. Or there was a show called No, No, Nanette. I can't remember what that comes from. Anyway, I think somebody used to say this to her. Somebody older, older than her. Maybe even her parents. Or grandparents. Could even be her grandparents. Because like I said, this that's that's from way back. So anyway, I think she's trying to validate that it's her. Like your little sage. Haven't let any today. Um Talking about orange, orange. I don't know if we're talking about the fruit or the color. Hang on. Orange. She's holding up an orange. Something about the color, too, but more about the thing you eat. So I don't know. She loved oranges. Maybe you have an orange tree. I have no clue where you live. Um, something. Maybe you just bought some oranges. Maybe they're on your grocery list. Maybe you just ate one. She's not saying. She's just holding up this orange. So if you set an orange or something like an orange on the counter, hopefully this has already happened. Don't, don't set it up. It needs to happen naturally. It's going to roll off. It's going to roll off. Or it's going to move at least. But it looks like it's going to roll off the counter. So watch for that. It's um, it's easy for them to manipulate things. If you put a big boulder in your living room, they're not going to be able to move that. Well, more than likely. Um, you know, don't ask them to move that, but um, things like an orange. Electronics, smells, sounds. There's a certain smell. There, There's a certain smell. Something she wore. It could be her shampoo, could be her hairspray, it could be, um, could be cologne or perfume. She's not telling me. She got to be a little more spe specific. Sp specific. <laughs> She's talking about her deodorant. <laughs> she went like this. <laughs> So her deodorant, when she put it on, you're going to smell that. You can be in your car. You can be outside. You can be in the store. doesn't matter where you're at. You can get that little whiff. Sometimes it's like a whole big freaking cloud. Or somebody might walk by you and they smell like the same deodorant. Or you see, if you know what kind she used, somebody could pick it up off the shelf and look at it or put it in their basket or 
be strolling by you with some in their basket. Anything like that is a sign. And whenever you get a sign or even think it's a sign from her, validate her, acknowledge her, tell her you love her, and ask her to bring you more. Once she realizes, realizes that you're catching on to the signs, you'll get more. Why is she yelling? Why is she yelling? She says, why in the hell do you think I'm mad at you? But she's yelling it. Why in the hell do you think I'm mad at you? Why would I be mad at you? I love you to the moon and back. I love you to the depth of the ocean. I love you beyond. Beyond the moon. Beyond. Why would you think I'm mad at you? I could never be really mad at you. Everybody gets mad. They all get mad at each other. But she's talking about much bigger mad. She says there's something that you need to forgive yourself for. It's, I'm not even sure it's associated with her. You need to forgive yourself, not for your mom, because she's being cleansed. She's being taken care of. She doesn't really need our forgiveness. You need to do it for yourself. There's something you need to forgive yourself for. It's a very, very heavy burden. Hang on. It's a very, very heavy burden. And, uh, it's, it's not really going to affect her one way or the other, other than she's watching you suffer. And she wants you to have that peace. So one thing, you can try all kinds. This is energy. This is all energy. Me talking to them this way, we're energy. We're energy. Cards are energy. Tables energy. Just slower form of energy. Um... Visualize whatever this is. Visualize putting it in a suitcase and handing it to an angel or setting it on your doorstep for the angel to pick up or putting it in an envelope and handing it to an angel. Let them transmute the energy or writing it on a balloon and watching it go out of sight. And it doesn't have to be a real balloon. You can just visualize it. You can imagine it or putting, I like to take my little minions, I call them, when I have all those little minions that are on me and go down the river and I put them in little boats and watch them float down the river. Not real boats, imaginary boats, but it takes that energy and then just watch it go away. So she says, you've got something really, really heavy that you need to forgive yourself. She says, you and only you can do this because it's something you have to let go of. It's something you have to forgive yourself for. She goes, I don't have any reason to forgive you. I love you. I'm holding no resentment. No anger. I don't know why I'm playing with these cards. All right, she told me to stop and pick this one. And you don't have to do an actual prayer. You don't have to go to church and get on your knees. But it says surrender to prayer. Give yourself over completely to prayer. When you pray from your heart, you will be heard throughout the universe. And answers and support will arrive. She told me to stop shuffling on this card. So she picked that out for you. So. Now. You don't have to do it like a proper prayer. Just ask the universe. Ask your guides. Ask your guides. She says to ask her. But, but ask them too. But also, ask your mom. What would she be good at when she was here? Would she be good at sitting down and listening to you? Unload this forgiveness that you need for yourself? Or maybe bopping you on the head and going, you need to do this right now.
I love you, baby girl. I don't want to see you hurting anymore over something that you really don't, that you really shouldn't be carrying. Some, some, whatever this is you need to forgive you. She's making a big, big deal out of this. Something that you really, really need to forgive yourself for that really wasn't your fault or wasn't your problem or wasn't is or really isn't wasn't your responsibility, wasn't something that you should be holding on to. Everything happened the way it's supposed to. Divine timing. Oh, I always hate that word. No, th this isn't waiting for divine timing. This is it happened in divine timing. I don't know if she's talking about when she left. Divine timing. When we, uh, what they've taught me is before we come here, we decide our exit point. It can be when you're one day old. It can be when you're 100 years old. We decide that. It, the timeline can waver a little bit depending on what's going on with the people around you. Who's going to learn what from your leaving, from your staying or from your leaving? And, But we're going to leave in that little span there. So whenever she left, it's what she had predestined, predetermined, pre-planned, however you want it. And I don't know why they do it that way. They don't get, they don't tell me the whys. They just tell me this is the way it is. So it's when they when they say your number's up, it's kind of a rude way of saying it, but it's the same thing. You're, yeah, it is that time. I don't know that we always decide how we're going to do it, but I think a lot of times we do that it's decided. Let's say I could have I could have killed myself in a past life and then my friend killed himself in this life. So he got back at me. And we so now we both know how it feels. Oh, I don't need to get into all that deep shit. Because you may not understand. It's too too much to explain. Oh, she's she's singing the song. What TV show was it? Oh, I can see them. I can see them. It's, you don't want me to sing, but I'll kind of try to do it without really singing. Love and marriage, love and marriage, goes together like a horse and carriage. This, da, 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 da. Anyway, ends up, you can't have one without the other. I'm not singing. I promise you. It'll hurt your ears. It's the name of that show, and I don't even know how to Google it. Um, he always had his hand down the front of his pants, I think. Shoe salesman. I think I got the right show. I don't know. Maybe she just loved this show. Maybe you just watched this show. Maybe you love this show. Not sure what she's trying to validate by bringing this show up. And she's kind of, it's like she's got the song stuck in her head. You know, hey, get that. Or maybe you just had the song stuck in your head. Don't know, don't know. She wants to see you much happier, much happier. Much, much, much happier. She knows you can do it. She knows you can do it. You, she keeps going, you can do it. You can do it. <laughs> you can do it. She's going like, you can do it. Once you get rid of that baggage, that's what she said. And somehow you're going to know when you release that, when you actually get it done, it's going to be like you hear the angels trumpets or something. It might be, you might be driving down the road. Maybe you hear a bell or something. I don't know. But it's like, it's like they've all got their 
trumpets out and they're going to blow their trumpets when you get this accomplished. I don't know. It could be something close to that. I don't know that you'll actually see the cherubs tooting their horns, but you might. Never know. Could be watching a movie. Could be seeing Christmas decorations. Which, good Lord, are out already. It's not even Halloween. Halloweeny. Okay. She's showing me somebody's snow skiing with poles. I almost feel like it's a guy, though. They're all, they've got all the goggles on and the suit and the, with a red, red snowsuit thingy on. I don't know if that's you, her, somebody close to you. I almost feel like it's a male, but it, that, that, don't hold me to that 100% because I don't have a strong feeling on that. I'm assuming she's trying to validate herself again, that she knows this or that it's her. Okay, my dear. With that, she's going to leave. But it's like she has this bird on me, not on me, but in my ear. She has this bird. Looks like a cardinal. Doesn't have to be just a cardinal. But it's like right in my ear, singing and chirping. Like right there. So you should have a bird. It's going to be coming around. It's going to be annoying. <laughs> it's, it's, it's not going to be like a bird across the street in the neighbor's tree. It's going to be a bird that's just going to be right there somehow, some way. Maybe you have a bird. But it's going to be, it's not just going to be there. It's going to be noisy making lots of noise. Know that that'll be a sign from her. Again, validate her, acknowledge her, tell her you love her, and ask her to bring you more. Now with that, she's leaving. And she's dragging some little black fuzzy dog, looks kind of like a poodle type, black, curly. And he doesn't like to be walked on the leash. She's kind of having a dragging. So she's got somebody's fur baby. Somebody's fur baby's with her, and she's a, she's letting somebody know that she has this fur baby, and he's fine. He, she is fine. But that still doesn't like to walk on the leash. <laughs> okay, much love to you, my dear. Thank you for allowing me to be her voice. Rhonda Constant, your favorite hometown medium, physical energy healer, oracle card advisor, paranormal investigator, Voice for your loved ones. See you later.